Hello and welcome. This is Unit 1 of a series of short e-learning modules discussing the role of a corporate treasurer. We begin by thinking about what is the definition of treasury man management. Treasury management is really three key things. It's ensuring the availability of short-term liquidity and funding to support the current business, the growth of the business, and to ensure that we stay in business. Secondly, is to manage financial risk across the business. And thirdly, is to implement a series of consistent governance and treasury policy across the company. To achieve these three key goals, Treasury organises a number of key activity areas. It manages the relationships with the banks and the facilities those banks provide to the company. It focuses on the shorter term investment policy, usually any money less than 12 months, uh, to invest to improve returns to the corporation of the short term cash holdings. It focuses on exposure management, identifying exposures, implementing applicable hedging strategies that are consistent with the accounting policy of the company. Treasury is responsible for optimising the use of working capital. Working capital usually arises from business activity, so the Treasury's role is to predict and ensure there is sufficient working capital for the organisation. One of the most critical things in Treasury has been funding our operating subsidiaries and companies around the world. Typically, the Treasury will raise funds from the banks or the markets centrally, then lend through an intercompany lending program to the underlying subsidiaries and operating companies. This means that Treasury is fundamentally involved in the tax and accounting treatment of such intercompany loans, which are normally structured through a special purpose Treasury vehicle in a offshore or tax favourable location to ensure that money can move smoothly through the company without significant tax issues.